Hello guys, Goldencroft here, and it's New Year's Eve. Happy New Year! At least there's fireworks outside everywhere, and they're loud as hell, man! Shut the hell up! <laughs> but anyway, it's New Year's Eve, so we are... What the hell was that? Uh, we should replace this leather. Um, well, Happy New Year, that's, that's a thing we should say. And, and all these explosions outside, they're creeping me out. Wish I had a more soundproof um, house or anything. But I don't, so... Um, we are to the dead, to the dead, to the dead, to the Welcome back to Minecraft Hardcore Mode. Uh, in this episode, um, I'm going to do multiple things. Uh, first of all, I'm going to go back home, grab a pickaxe, and we're probably going to move this nether portal up there. And that's going to be convenient. Probably. I'm actually not going to do that yet. Because uh, I don't feel like doing it now. Makes sense, right? Nope. Alright then. Uh, it's night, so I guess we're going to sleep. Even though everything's pretty well lit. But I don't care. We're just gonna sleep. Let's get up here. Uh, I don't know if you can hear all the firework exploding noises in the background, but if you don't, then you're good. If you do, I'm sorry, I can't really help it. Uh, I'm not really capable of telling the entire uh, surrounding area to stop lighting fireworks because it is legal. It's legal now, so they are going crazy out there. Anyway, this episode... Let's just get to the freaking point. Uh, this episode we're going to make a beacon. So let's actually start with that. Um, instead of grabbing a bunch of iron and talking about the next thing I want to do. Uh, do we have glass? Glass, glass. We don't even have glass. Great start, eh? Oh, we have quite some iron though. That's good, I guess. I think that's good. Um. Oh god, I need to sneeze. Oh gosh. It's not coming. It's going away again. Anyway, we need like five, five glass. Six. No, wait. We need uh, a lot of glass. Uh, we need, of course, the nether star. We need some obsidian. So. Uh, where's our pickaxe? Pick, X, that's fortune. That's silk touch. That's silk touch. That was actually the same pickaxe. Ah, there we go. Alright, I'm going to get some obsidian when we're back. This, guy, this bit should be done, so. I'll be right back! Alright, <laughs> we're back already. Alright, let's see how everything's doing. I got like six. I think that should be enough. I don't know. Let's just check. That's all done. And cooking. And we can make our freaking beacon. It was five. Actually, I suck. Uh. Beacon. Wheel! Though, one problem. Big, 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 big problem. For some reason, Minecraft thinks that you need to. Go to the end and kill the end dragon before killing the wither. Which makes no sense. Cause you can kill the wither any moment from the point where you get the need to go deeper achievement. So actually they should move this over here. Um, well, th th this is such a weird freaking piece. Dude. They should move this more down and then this should be over there. You, you, you screw it. <laughs> Uh, this episode, um, I'm going to talk, mainly, because I want to do something big. Uh, I want to do something even bigger, but that seemed impossible. So, why don't I just say what I was going to do before actually talking about this, because right now I'm just talking plain bullshit to you, because you have no idea what the hell I'm even talking about. So, I wanted to make an iron foundry. It's a machine, 
and that makes uh, I think about 1700 iron ingots per hour so that's quite some iron uh, but apparently this was not my idea but apparently that machine can only be made within the spawn chunks if you don't know what spawn chunks are you kind of suck but uh, it's understandable because it's quite something for people who actually know technical things about Minecraft and not only that this, these are blocks and you can do these with them but anyway the spawn chunks is basically um, remember that snow biome we spawned in and then we walked away from there into a swamp and then away from there into a jungle and we walked past that like for quite a while and now we're here well all the way back there is that snow forest and in that snow forest is our spawn point and uh, like the 12 or 6 I don't even know how many chunks the chunks around that spawn point are the spawn chunks so basically we're screwed because we have to build the iron foundry inside the spawn chunks so what I'm going to have to do is make something different and that's the older version of the iron foundry it's called the iron trench and it's uh, it's basically the same but it makes a bit less iron it makes 1200 iron ingots per hour so I don't know what I'm complaining about but yeah I just wanted to have a crap ton of iron to set up our beacon and because you need a crap ton of iron to set up the beacon you need about um, three and a half, I think more than three and a half stack of blocks. Well, seeing that a stack of blocks is nine stacks of ingots, and we have about one stack of ingot and a little bit more, we will need, I think, about twenty, um, um, eighteen, uh, ab about. 22 maybe 23 times as much iron as we now possess so that's quite quite a lot of iron so we could go into a zombie farm and farm so many zombies that we get so many iron ingots that we are pretty rich uh, or I could cheat don't know how but I guess I could probably find a way to cheat once again I don't know how because it's freaking hard combo, so there's no commands. But there's probably a way. But we're not gonna cheat. I mean, freaking legit. This is our legit base. Our our legit house. This is our legit wooden cut freaking log that I just destroyed and placed back. So legit stuff right here. So I think and the best way to get a lot of iron is either to mine it. But I'm lazy. So, I'm going to make the iron trench uh, off screen because it's quite a big build. It takes about an hour and a half. The video takes about an hour and a half, but I also have to build it. So, it would probably take me about an entire day to build it. But, of course, if you want to make an iron farm, any kind of iron farm, you need a certain thing. And this certain thing is a village. Uh, and in order to get villagers, we need a village. And now we happen to have found a village long, long ago. Um, back in the day when we were still pretty bad at things and stuff. Uh, I don't know if this is faster, but I think it is, but I don't know. But it takes a lot of... It, it's... It's annoying to have to press baseball so often. So I'm just not going to do that. But remember that one episode, like... Oh gosh! <laughs> uh, remember that one episode where we were trying to find the desert. And like, we ran... Ah, what the hell? Ouch. That hurts. My feet. Um. Oh. Oh gosh. No. Oh fuck. Oh shit. Oh. Oh. Right. Um. What was I talking about again? 
Um, oh yeah, we were trying to find a desert, and we couldn't find any. And then we found one, and when we walked through the desert, we actually found a village. And we got some emeralds, I think. And that was pretty much it, and oh, yeah. Oh yeah, and then we got our melon seeds, our first ever melon seeds, from that village. And it just came to my mind that I probably should have taken... Oh, we have food. That's good. Right, I think we um, are pretty good to go. Um, though it may have been small. I don't know, never mind, just screw everything. This is a flower forest and there's so many tulips. And tulips remind me of Holland, and that's a good thing, because I'm from Holland. And hooray. And I'm lagging, and I don't know why. And I don't like lag, because when you're riding a pig or horse or whatever, lag is even worse because it affects the mob you're sitting on, and that affects you. But I just found a village, and if I quickly look around, there's no desert to be seen. So we actually found a new village. Don't know how I managed to do this, but it's pretty awesome. And there's a blacksmith as well. And we forgot to take leads, but we're just gonna leave the horse here, stay, uh, and n n jump. We're just gonna check. Oh yeah, bread and iron tools. I always wanted those. Like I totally need them. Um, and there's books. Taking the books. Hello. What are you trading? Oh, that's a terrible trade. Villagers. That's a good trade, actually. And that's the best trade ever. Ever. I love you. Sleep on me. Make love to me. Alright. That... No, sorry. Alright. I'm going to go... Um... It's turn of night. And I don't have anything on me. Where are the sheep? Sheep, 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 sheep. Are there no sheep around? There must be. There must be sheep. Why are there no sheep? Why are there no sheep in your village? Tell me that's the cave. Oh, I see sheep. And horses, wow. Sweet! Sweet pineapples. Um. Right, kill these. Sheep. Where's the wool? I want the wool. And just taking. The there we go. Um. Thank you. Hello there, sir. Good day to you. That's books. I don't want books. Oh gosh, I can hear zombies. Move! Jesus. Where's my crafting table? That's not how you make it. Monsters? Where? I don't see any. Oh. Sir, I must politely ask you to get the fuck out of here, I want to sleep. Yay! Sleeping is fun! Oh my, oh my gosh, move, you fat head. Jeez. Alright, it's day again. So... I'm going to write down the coordinates of this amazing village. What the hell? Oh, it's just coming from... Dude. Ouch! That, what the hell, guys? Are we having a party down here? Is it fun? Ouch! God damn it! Ow! Stop! Stop! Yeah, you can freaking taunts. Do we have taunts? Yeah, we have taunts. Freaking taunts on the skeletons. Freaking taunts on the creeper. Where, where did he go? Oh wow, they're all in the way. <laughs> you guys suck. Freaking tree creepers as well. Who would have thought? Anyway, let's finally get to the freaking point already. And let me grab a note or something like that. What's this? This is a random book. I can write on that. Two, 
I can't write on that because my pen's broken. All right, there we go. I got a new pen. Two, one, one, seven. Seventy, well, it doesn't matter. Uh, one, seven, seven. Done. All right, so where's the rock? I suck at this, don't I? Where's my horse? <laughs> you guys really suck. Ow! You still suck. Red. Where is my horse? Horse. Uh, he's probably in the whole world. The village is out. Would make sense because for some reason. Oh, there you are. Well, you weren't over there, but at least I found you. So we're going to the north. Going through the forest. Do not fall in the hole. Someone should make a horse parkour map. It would be pretty awesome. I mean, parkour maps are really fun. But they're starting to become all the same. And that's not good. And I actually have not seen anyone make horse parkour map yet. Maybe, it probably exists, but I haven't really seen a good map or something. I haven't seen anyone play a good map at least. Because that really could be something awesome. And we're falling in a hole again. No oh, way, we're not. We're safe, we're good. <clears throat> I think that would be really interesting though. Horse power. Because horses are so unpredictable. Uncontrollable. And you can jump really high and you can... And uh, hey, you can, like, do this. I mean, that's cool. Do a wheelie. Where am I? I'm always lost, aren't I? This is, like... Yeah, I, if I get lost in this series, though, it would be worse than in the hardcore... Minecraft hardcore challenge, because... In this, I have accomplished a little bit more than in that. And cave. Hi, cave. How are you doing? I'm doing really fine, bro. Marvelous. Where am I? I think this is our plains, isn't it? This is our mountain. With the big mountain. Yeah, it is our mountain. I recognize it. I actually don't recognize it. But I rec- Yeah, alright. Here we are, back home. With the coordinates of a village. And with only a couple of minutes left until this episode is over. I mean, we're, we're starting to get near the, f the f 20 minutes. I actually didn't put on my timer, but I remember in the opening of the video I talked about it being 19 past 19. And right now it's almost 39 past 19. I mean, 22 to 20. That's how you should say it in English, I think. Not quite sure. <clears throat> um, but anyway, <laughs> oh, I'm talking off forever. I'm gonna get some more obsidian to make a nether portal. Be right back. Again. Bye. Alright. Um. We, yeah, I mind too much. Doesn't matter. Um, we're going up. <clears throat> I'm going to write down the coordinates of this nether portal as well, though. So that would be freaking uh, a way that we can do it much easier. Because <clears throat> if you go through the nether, you may not know this yet. Um, your coordinates get divided by 8 because one block in the nether is 8 blocks in the overworld, so. That's why the coordinates are changed by 8. Uh, so if I would write down these coordinates from now and do them times 8, you would have the same coordinates of the nether portal and overworld. So that's exactly why I wrote down the coordinates of the other nether portal. And I should write down this nether portal. I forgot. It's okay though. Shit happens. Oh, don't mind that. Um, but if you have uh, overworld coordinates and you do those times 8, you can actually um, make a portal in the nether 
I mean O4 coordinates divided by 8 and you can go to those coordinates in the nether and make a portal there. So, what do you think we're going to do? We're going to go to the same coordinates we have from the village, we're going to divide those by 8, then go there in the nether and build a portal there, and if we go through, we should be at the place where the amazing village will be, and then we can safely and easily transport villagers through the nether and get them at our base. And then off screen I can make an iron trench. But apparently I've been recording for quite a while. So I uh, will do this next episode. I'm not gonna do this off screen because this is kind of funny to look at, I think. So next episode we will be right here, but then with a Oh wait, actually, uh, 214, 214, minus 71, this is not Sparta, this is where our nether portal, oh gosh, damn it, fuck, bots, and other things. This is where our nether portal should be calm, but I forgot to find the seal. So I'll be, <laughs> I'll be back. I'll be back. And I'm back. And I'm back. I have to go all the way up again, and I don't feel like doing that, but I'm, I'm doing it because screw everything. Um. All right, here we are. And done. Thanks God, finally we're done. Thank you guys for watching. I've been growing. Let's test our portal. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, I'm blind. And should be good. Done. Awesome. I've been going across. Thank you guys for watching this. Next episode, we are going to go to the nether again with some real and other things. We're going to get some villages into this place and make an iron farm off screen. Because I'm not going to do that on screen because it's a lot of time consuming. And I'll just put a link in the next. Uh, well, I'm not going to talk about that yet. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I've been Goracraft. Leave a like if you like this episode of Minecraft Hardcore Mode. And leave a subscribe if you haven't already. And that's about it. Thanks for watching. Mm.